Okay, so you can see, Katie, the influence this is going to have on the Everest market. Yeah, a big one, and especially with the track playing fairly today, uh, Giga Kick I give a massive big chance to because uh, I just don't think that that track suited him first up in the Concorde. And the biggest question, I think, from this whole race, does Think About It do enough today to give him a chance to defend his crown in two weeks' time? He has to run well. Jonathan Munns jumped the queue during the week. Giga Kick got in. Think about it, had to wait. Here we go. Group three winner, last preparation. And to think about it, last year's Everest winner is the last to move in. Jason Collard in the saddle, and the load is on. We're ready now for the Premier Stakes. Stand by. And they're racing. Think about it. Jumped all right. Cole Crusher and Marzu were the first two into stride, and Cole Crusher is going to lead from Marzu. Think about it being restrained wide out, heavily restrained. Giga Kick gets in front of him with their man going up the inside. Bandy's boy and Bella Nipotina's last. It's the Joe Pride duo up front. Cole Crusher leading from Marzu, whilst Think About It's back last. Airman goes to third. Giga Kick goes to fourth. Then Bella Nipotina, Bandy's boy, and Think About It's been snagged all the way back to last. Cole Crusher in front at the 600 metres, out by a half to Marzu. Then came him and Giga Kick is beautifully positioned coming to the turn. Then came Bella Nipotina, Bandy's boy, and two lengths away to think about it. It's Cole Crusher, big odds from the stable mate Marzu into the straight. Giga Kick is about to peel out. Then Bandy's boy, Emin, up the fence. Bella Nipotina riding for luck. Think about it, still last. Cole Crusher, Marzu. Emin up the inside. Will this be a result for bookies? Emin went up the inside. Now Marzu starting to launch. Bella Nipotina late through the centre. Cole Crusher keeps coming. It's Airman and Marzu. Bella very late. Airman the inside. Marzu, I think Airman a nose to Marzu. Close up, Bella Nipotina in a three-way go. Giga kick took forever to warm up. Then Cole Crusher. Think about it. Got well back. Made some headway and Bandy's boy was last in. Well, what about that for a turn-up? What about that for a turn-up? Um... Giga Kick was disappointing. James gave him every chance. Jason Collett probably right into his structures, but think about it, was given a very big task today. Airman does what he did this time last year. He wins a 1,200-metre race on the day of the Epsom, but this is a very important one. And Zach Lloyd is having a day and a half. He sure is, and he just didn't panic. He stayed on the fence. He did no work. He just smoked the pipe and... He's got the bob in. Wow, eh? What a performance there from Airman. And gee, Cole Crusher's not been beaten all that far too from Joe Pride Stable. Marzu, Ballard ran okay. Where do you where do you think well, they the, sit? The slot holders is a big talking point, but we'll talk about that later on because Michael Hawks is with Emma Friedman after this sensational upset. My goodness gracious me, has he put his hand up today? You know what, I've got to give Zach credit. Before the race, we talked about it. 